Let's raise. I knew you were. You were gonna come to me. And here you are. But you better choose carefully. Cause I, I'm capable of anything. Of anything. And everything. Make me a Aphrodite. Make me a one and only. Hey, what's up, world? I'm Kat Harvey, CEO of Success at the Less. Today, I'm so excited to have a boss lady. On with us today, she's one of the top celebrity photographers coming out of LA. You guys have seen her work featured in top notable brand magazines such as Harper's, Bazaar, Elle Magazine, Maxima Magazine. I mean, so much I can just go on and on and about her. And it reminds me of the new female version of Andy Warhol mixed with Pablo Picasso in the photography industry. And I'm so excited to have her so much. Please welcome Miss Sasha Samsonova. How you doing? Great. You know, I really love your comparing part. It was very entertaining. <laughs> I mean, I would always compare photography to fine art, so it's really cool that you mentioned it. Andy Warhol was actually Ukrainian like I am, so, you know, it's kind of in the stars. <laughs> Tell the world a little bit about yourself. I'm 24, um, Ukrainian, and I come from Ukraine, so I've been living in LA for a year now, exactly, actually. It's by my little anniversary now. And I mean, I moved here to do directing and to take pictures of personality rather than just fashion. I mean, I've been doing fashion since I was 17. My first time ever published was Harper's Bazaar. I felt like fashion world is unbelievable. It's really fascinating. But then at some point it got a little bit unfulfilling. So I moved here to work with great people who actually done something with their lives. And I finally got to... <laughs> over the last year and I finally got to direct. So that's what I'm doing here now. I'm sure there's moments where some, some of your clients or celebrities, they get nervous. So what do you do as far as to help calm down their nerves during the shoot? I mean, if you shoot for the first time with a, you know, with a big person, let's say, I always try and create like a little bond and atmosphere. I never take any assistance or anything with me on the shoot just to keep the my relationship with the person who I'm shooting really personal. Photography should be fun and they should feel happy and comfortable and beautiful. So I never criticize them too much. I just try and create like the perfect atmosphere. And if I already said yes to shoot this person, I'm pretty, like I'm definitely thinking that they're pretty awesome. So I don't even have to like fake anything. I'm just there and I'm fascinated by this person. I'm like, I never had people nervous at my shoot. I had people drunk and I, and, you know, everything else, but never nervous. A lot of celebrities, people are sometimes late to their photo shoots. So how did you deal with that as far as getting people to respect your time and not showing up late a lot to your shoots? I actually hate when people are late. <laughs> I just hate waiting, but I'm late myself sometimes not for work but for like a date I might be late <laughs> anyway if I'm working with somebody for the first time and they're late I never really say anything I don't get all pissed off and be like oh you're late oh my god I never say anything but then somewhere in the middle of the shoot closer to the end when we're both happy with each other which always happens and we're like feeling each other everything's great I'm like you know like I'm really weird about time and I really hate when people are late and this and that I'm not really talking about them I just talking about the fact of people being late and I never like shame them for being late this first time but the next time we shoot they're never late so how were you able to recognize in some of these magazines that I've mentioned how long did it take for you to get recognized start doing film photography first At some point I got a call from Harper's Bazaar. I was in Ukraine. They were doing this little project with like young designers. Every designer could choose th their own little photographer to shot their piece. So one of the designers chose me. She just saw my pictures online and she was like, I want her. And Harper's Bazaar wasn't opposed to it. They were like, okay with it. It was just like two pictures. It wasn't anything big. It was like an editorial, but still I was so excited. I mean, I was 17, I was a kid. I was like, oh my God, no, I can't believe it. <laughs> And uh, that L'Officer contacted me after that. Um, Mary Claire contacted me just to like try and work with me. And it just, every, each, like they just followed each other and it worked out. I don't know. It really didn't take a long time. All I can do is just do great artwork. I don't know how to sell myself. I'm like, ah. Uh. <laughs> 
I just believe it's in the stars and it's faith. And if, if you have a fire in your heart, it's going to get recognized. It's fine. Just do your thing and be humble. And you, people are going to see this. I'm going to share my screen in just a sec. I want you to talk about this particular photo of Kylie Jenner. And so why was this your favorite shot? It looks like a real artwork. And I'm so happy like this shot got to be out just because I'm in love with it. Like it's imperfect in a really stunning, incredible way.